Hello, everybody, and welcome to Better Connecticut. We are live outside of our studios in Rocky Hill. It's the first <laughs> snowstorm of the season. I've got a snowball already. No, not yet. Don't I, worry. But this is great oh, snowball great packing great snowball weather. packing weather. We got a little, uh, little ice underneath the snow, but it's still moist. It's not frozen over yet, and it's perfect for making that snowman, that snowwoman, that fort, whatever it is you want to make, get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, you can get out there. It's, there's still daylight, so if the kids actually had to go to school, I know some went, some didn't, but right. you want to get out there and take advantage of this because there's a little lull going on. A little, little, little of a lull right now, but we're expecting the snow to fill back in. We're going to talk to Bruce in just a second, but first we want to show you we've we've gone over here and we've we filled up the uh, the sleds. The sleds yeah. are ready to go. They so. might also be pool floats, the, but we're, that's we're, okay. We're, we're not quite sure if they're pool floats or official sleds, but nonetheless they're going to work. And we're going down the hill. Behind us there's a big hill, but that'll come at the end of the show, so that's something you have to stay tuned for. So if you're thinking you don't have sleds and maybe you have a pool float, you know, you'll get to see if that works or not. I, I think, actually think these are going to go pretty fast. And we're going to one of my favorite places today, Carol. We're going to Amato's Toy and Hobby in oh, Middletown. Cool. So we're going to show you all the greatest toys coming up for the kids. So it's a perfect time. Today's Cyber Monday. We're going to be talking about that. Ooh, some deals. You want to get shopping before it's over. And we'll talk about it in a minute. But um, I think it's really perfect that there's a snowstorm. And Rudolph's on TV. I'm 8 o'clock tonight. Clock tonight. on TV. <laughs> Can't we get home and watch? <laughs> All right, we're going to send it into Bruce, our chief meteorologist, Bruce Dupreece, for an update on the storm. Bruce, nice to see you on this afternoon, live outside the studios here in Rocky Hill. Well, it's good to see you, too. And yes, Rudolph is on tonight, one of my favorite shows throughout the year, I do have to say. And I'll tell you what, we still have uh, several weather alerts in effect for Connecticut right through tomorrow morning. We saw this storm begin yesterday afternoon. It's still with us now, and it's going to stay with us right into, <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow morning. So we have the uh, winter weather advisory in effect for most of the state right through around 7 o'clock in the morning. And a winter storm warning is in effect for Litchfield County and northern Fairfield County for the same time period. But right now, as we're seeing on early warning pinpoint Doppler, there's a lull across much of the state where you see a gap here. And there are some big ones. There might be a couple of uh, light snowflakes in the air. We've got a little patch of uh, snow to the west of New Haven. But for now, most of the snow and the rain is surrounding Connecticut. We got the storm developing to the south of Long Island, and we noticed that there, are, there have been some lightning strikes during the course of the afternoon, indicating there's a transfer of energy going on and the storm is developing. How close it moves to the coast will determine how much snow gets wrapped around back over the state of Connecticut as we go through uh, this evening and uh, tonight. So Futurecast is probably overdoing the coverage of the snow at 5 o'clock this afternoon. But what we're thinking is that as we go through tonight, we'll go from 5 o'clock till around uh, 6 o'clock and uh, beyond right up there till about midnight. We'll have periods of snow now at times. There could be some moderate to heavy snow in parts of the state, so you see pretty good coverage at midnight tonight. And as we go into around 3 o'clock in the morning, still areas of snow in the state. At times, the snow may look fairly impressive. And then as we go into uh, tomorrow morning around 7 a.m., the storm is largely gone. Finally, you know, a storm that's going to be lasting essentially 40 hours or more. We'll have some lingering snow showers in the state, but then as we go through uh, midday, it's pretty much gone. And for the afternoon, we're thinking it's going to be partly sunny. So finally, tomorrow morning, we get rid of winter storm Abel. Now, we do expect another one to as much as five inches of snow tonight. That should bring the tally into southeastern Connecticut up to one, two, to possibly three or four inches. You've seen very little so far. Most of your snow is coming tonight along the I-84 corridor, four to as much as eight inches of snow, and the hills to the north and west of Hartford, northwestern Hartford County, Litchfield County, and perhaps even northern Fairfield County, six to as much as 12 inches of snow. We've had reports already of uh, up to 10 inches of snow on the border right there in uh, North Granby from this storm so far. So our eye cam shows cloudy skies in Torrington. Not much going on there at the moment. Not much going on in New London. And as far as temperatures go, we're in the 30s. Some places still at or below freezing right now. And we got a stiff wind right out of the north as high as 22 miles an hour in Waterbury. And that, of course, is creating wind chills in the upper teens and 20s. So if you have to go outside and clear off your sidewalk or your driveway, bundle up. That wind is certainly creating a chill. Of course, we're done with the uh, storm as we go through tomorrow morning, which is good news there. Tomorrow morning's commute could be tricky. The afternoon is going to be much better. We'll have more coming up on Eyewitness News beginning at 430. But for now, we take you right back into the studio with Kara and Scott. And I'm sure it's a lot warmer in there, right? Oh, Bruce, your wife made such a delicious uh, dessert for us today. It was a zucchini 
pumpkin chocolate. Is that what it was, Oh, Bruce? my gosh. I need some. It was, uh, it was zucchini chocolate uh, chip cake oh. with, made with whole wheat flour. It Very was, healthy. Cheryl, big shout out to you for baking that for us. I need to go find that, Cheryl. Oh, my yeah, gosh, Mark that's delicious. Yeah, Mark and Bruce and I, we each got a piece. It was oh, awesome. Oh, that's so nice. I love zucchini bread. All right, so as you can see, the storm is sticking around for a while. Yeah, so get some baking going. Channel 3 <laughs> Susan Raff has been out in the elements all day. She could use a chocolate chip cookie, but she's met a new friend. Hi, Susan. I think when you, as soon as you were talking about the zucchini bread, you had me. I'd like a piece out here today. But yes, we are out here in the storm. And it's been snowing pretty much all day on and off, but it's very light and not much sticking. But we are in front of the Emergency Operations Center, which is inside the state armory. And this is where they watch the storm. The governor's people, all the emergency officials. At this point, the Emergency Operations Center is only open partially, but that could change depending on what the weather brings. Now, the DOT tells us the roads are pretty good shape. They've cleared much of the snow and rain away from the roads, but they do have their entire fleet out. More than 600 trucks are going to be out, and they will be out throughout the night depending on what the storm brings. There are people, however, who enjoy this snow, especially if they don't have to work in it. In fact, we want to show you who we came up across today. We found a woman walking her dog in Bushnell Park. This is a five-month-old dog. It is an Akita Korean. So the dog has never seen snow before. It was simply adorable, this dog. As it was running through the park, you could see it hopping and clearly had not seen snow before, but liked it. But again, I mean, when you're off and you don't have to go to work in snow, you seem to enjoy it more. And as the temperatures drop tonight, there is a concern that we could see some icing on the road. So people are encouraged to slow down, especially if you're out driving tonight. We are live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Susan. That is such a cute dog. <laughs> that dog is going to be huge. He's going to be big. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Susan. We appreciate it. He's only it. five months old there. He's going to grow into those ears Check and Check back in six months, Susan. I want to see it. All right. Tonight, uh, the Channel 3 early morning uh, team, the uh, morning team was supposed to be at Holiday Life Fantasia. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, it got canceled. There is no Holiday Life Fantasia tonight, but we're going to be out there again. Uh, several people are going to be out from Channel 3, all different personalities throughout the week. The morning team, if you're looking specifically to meet up with us, we're going to be out there next Monday, the 9th of December. Okay. And I think Dennis and Nisa are out there this Thursday. I might okay. join them. And then the next week, I know Melissa and I will be out there on the Thursday night. But there's Channel 3 people on most nights. And you, you can go there. You can drive through and... $15 a car load. All the money goes to support the Channel 3 Kids Camp. And there's a 10% uh, off coupon on the to back of the tickets. Go to first and last. Make Order it a whole the night. P pizza. Tell Order them that we Number told... 13. Number 13 Which when you get there. 13? I think it's meatballs and something. Oh, I like the I P know, pizza. Little... All right. Yeah, whatever. All right. You're very excited. I am. My favorite Christmas movie, Rudolph, is on tonight at 8 p.m. So set your DVR. Not that you don't want to watch it live, but you can watch it multiple times throughout the season. If you have it on your DVR, you ever having a bad day, you just put on Rudolph and you're Good to go. It's right here on Channel 3. I'm so excited. We are Santa's elves. There's always tomorrow for dreams to come true. And then, wait, she likes me. She Ray likes, likes me. me. She really, really <laughs> likes me. That goes back to 1964, the year I was born. I didn't know uh, Rudolph and I were the same age. Oh. Actually, he's so a little cute. bit older than me. <laughs> so if you missed out on the Black Friday bargains or you want to just keep shopping, uh, it's Cyber Monday. There's another chance to score some deals. Um, if you have a chance to shop, yeah, I feel like all the emails keep coming in. Of, uh, I saw Frontier Airlines actually has some uh, tickets out of Hartford, but they say 99% off some fares. Oh, my God. So I don't know where you can go for 99% off, but that was the headline. I got some sheets. I know. Oh, I was, nice. I was sheet shopping, so I got some uh, king size sheets, 25% off. And I think. Did the they come with four pillowcases? I like it when they no, come with four. I know, oh. I like that too. I like then that then too. Because then you have mismatching pillowcases if you like to have four pillowcases. I know. On Just your be bed. careful. Make sure you're on a secure website and watch out for those scammers because they are out there. Absolutely. Electronics are always a big deal too, as well, right? Right. Although we had a story in the news that be careful. If you did buy a smart TV, <laughs> then you should make sure you put black tape over the unused camera. Apparently, the FBI is warning people that hackers can watch you by hacking your smart TVs. You're kidding. And so, yeah, they, you're supposed to put tape over the camera. I, I only have a dumb TV. 
and it, it only it only gets like six channels. That I don't think people can watch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, flashback to this. Can you believe that Alanis Morissette, her her Jagged Little Pill album that was 25 years ago. Wow, that's she's coming on tour and she's going to be right here in Connecticut, 2020. She's making a stop, of course, in the great state of us. The North American tour marks the 25th anniversary of uh, what Kara just mentioned, the Jagged Little the Jagged Little Pill album, and she's going to be uh, where's she going to be? The Xfinity ex Theater in Hartford on Saturday. June 27th, you ought to know. You ought to know. <laughs> I can't get it. Who's, is, who's that handsome man she's with? Um, I wonder if that's her husband. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Wasn't she? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. but they were like, just, did you see him? They were just like, get out of the shot. We need Alanis by herself. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so a little bit ago, you did a little taste testing with the Oreo, the mystery flavor. Yes. It's been revealed now. It was. It was. We. I thought it was cinnamon something. Uh, it was Jamie, cinnamon. Jamie, what did you guess? Did you guess? Jamie guessed the correct, uh, guessed the correct answer. Our producer. It is churro. churro. You know the churro, the donuts with the cinnamon sugar on the oh, outside. I love they, it. Now the Oreo. I don't know. It kind of. It did taste a little bit like a churro. I'll give him credit. It? Did but, still have, how did it taste like a churro if there was chocolate on the outside and cream in the middle? I don't know. Do you know how exactly how to eat an Oreo? Well, first you, you do it. You, you unscrew it very fast because the kid will eat the middle of an Oreo first and save the chocolate cookie outside for last. <laughs> there you go. That's the whole ad campaign right there in an, <laughs> in an email. Olivia Jade, Lori Lachlan's daughter, she's oh. making her return to YouTube since the college admissions scandal. Yeah, it took her nine months to get back on the air. And she said, I am not addressing the controversy because I am not allowed to address the controversy. What's happening, Kara? Yeah, she said that she legally can't talk about the scandal, but that she's, it's the scariest thing she's ever done, and she's happy to be coming back, and thanks to her supporters for tuning in to her YouTube feed, which did have a lot of people watching before a this college admission scandal. Of, so, doesn't she look just like her mother, though? She, there is definitely a resemblance. Definitely so a resemblance. We'll see what she's going to be doing. She says she's very excited to be uploading new episodes to her channel.